Hello, once again this is Derek with Master Tool Care. Today I'm just going to explain in a short video the difference between a stop start and a constant run type of compressor. Right here we have Jenny Compressor, it's a contractor duty portable air compressor, a gallon unit, single stage compressor pump, electric motor driven of course. <clears throat> and basically what we have here is the, uh, it's a dual control setup, whereas normally on a uh, particular home use compressor, uh, electric compressor you'll find uh, just a pressure switch which controls the on off uh, pressure of the unit. It cuts it in at a certain PSI and will cut the unit out once it reaches maximum PSI. Uh, here you have of course another valve uh, as a piloted unloader valve. So this is actually installed in tandem with the pressure switch into a manifold and of course routes to the pump as well. This is great for flexibility if you're a contractor and you have uh, basically different jobs that require different demands on the compressor. Uh, it's great to have this flexibility in use of a dual control setup. Simply in a home compressor, you'll uh, typically have a pressure switch um, as a means of the cutoff and, uh, of the system to cut on the cutoff pressure. And basically it reaches a certain pressure, in this case 125 PSI, and the switch uh, controls that cutoff pressure and it will simply cut the unit off. And of course bleeds the excess air out of the compressor once it does out of the unloader valve. Uh, as you can see, there's a small gate valve here. And what this does, it routes the air from the tank to the pressure switch or the piloted unloader valve. Of course, it right now it's uh, in a vertical position, so the air is routing to the pressure switch. You turn it like so, it routes it to the, uh, to the unloader valve. Now, the great benefit of having a constant run system uh, running through the unloader valve uh, or piloted valve is because if you're on a job site, you have say four or five frame guns running at the same time, roofing guns, what have you, uh, it allows the compressor to freewheel uh, in idle, essentially, once it reaches maximum pressure. So in this case, in 125 PSI, once we have the valve routed to the piloted valve, uh, it'll reach 125 cutoff, and of course, uh, it's preset the factory uh, at a certain pressure, and again, in this case, 125 PSI, and it'll simply uh, let the compressor freewheel, and the air from the unloader valve that routes to the pump will simply uh, route to the unloader valve instead of pressurizing the tank, it just bypasses the tank and will exhaust out of the end of this unloader valve, hence pilot unloader valve. So again, it allows the pump to freewheel, which basically saves your motor, so it's not cutting on and off all of the time and very frequently. That can uh, save the capacitors, save your motor, and it will save the electrics on your pressure switch, your contacts. So it's very convenient when you have high demand and you need to use uh, the compressor, and you always need that demand, and I say for hours at a time. Constant run is great for that. If not, you just have a, uh, say, a uh, trim job, you know, finish up some trim, or maybe just uh, simply blow off tires, something like that where there's not much demand. Simply switch this gate valve in a vertical position, and it allows the uh, air to route to the pressure switch. And it'll simply cut off 125 PSI, stay off, until you use the pressure again, uh, use the pressure and the switch cuts the unit back on when it's called for air again. And again, that obviously you call it stop-start mode because it the uh, motor will stop and start, uh, you know, depending on the demand. So essentially, that's the difference, and uh, it's really nice to have that flexibility again, if you're especially if you're a contractor. Um, but you can have it installed. Uh, there's a kit, dual control kit for most compressors, or you can simply order the compressor with this uh, dual control setup. So this is kind of a basic explanation. Uh, visit our website for more information, or call one of our sales reps. We'd be glad to give you some more information and more detail with this type of setup. Uh, visit www.mastertoolrepair.com or give us a ring. Thanks again for watching.